The question presents to you this pair of triangles. Okay. It says they're similar. It's given us these uh, angles here so we know and you can see the shape <coughs> is the same. All characteristics except the size. And then you have these lengths here. This is what they want. What's the ratio of areas? Come back over here to what we said before in this example. If you double the lengths, you double double the areas, so quadruple. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if we follow this pattern through on these guys over here. The first thing I will write is the ratios of the lengths. Okay. Now, just rewind a little bit. This one to two, like you still got this on your page, maybe the previous page if you've turned the page. Where did I get one to two from? Where did that pair of numbers come from? The sides. It came from the sides. One of them was uh, seven and then 14. And then I think the other one was 24, 48. Right? Yeah, good. Now what I want you to notice is, see these guys here, right? These are what we call equivalent ratios. In fact, it might be helpful to you if you still have another color to actually write that, what these are called, equivalent ratios. Do you notice, do you notice that these equivalent ratios, they behave a lot like something else equivalent that you know. Um, something we dealt with this morning, which is fractions, right? Equivalent fractions behave in just the same way. In fact, alongside here, I'll choose another color. The fractions that would go with this are um, 7 over 14, which is equal to 24 over 48, which is equal to a half. They're all the same fraction, just dressed up in different clothes. Which, by the way, is why fractions are often called rational numbers. It's not rational in that, oh yeah, he's rational, he's sane, he makes sense, he's sensible. It means fractions because they are ratios. Rational is the adjective for which ratios is the noun. Okay, so this just means numbers that are ratios. Okay? So therefore, when I go to write these ratios of lengths, what are the ratios of lengths in this question? Seven to fourteen, twenty-four to forty-eight, one to two. It's just this to this, right? Do you agree with that? This guy and this guy. I'm just going to write them as is without changing them. One point five to two point five. Okay. But that's a bit awkward. Just like we try to avoid writing decimals and mixing them with fractions, we like to write things in whole numbers. So I'm going to, just like I could with a fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the same number so it ends up a little bit simpler. If I multiply both of them by 2, then this would become 3. And this would become? It's the same ratio. It's equivalent. But it's a much nicer way to write it. Do you agree? Okay. Let's get those fractions out of the way. Right. That's the ratios of the lengths. In order to get to the ratios of the areas, what do I have to do to these guys? <coughs> have a look. I have to square, right? So I'm going to go ratios of areas. But importantly, I'm going to square both of these numbers. So it'll become 3 squared to 5 squared, right? Um, 3 squared, of course, is 9, and 5 squared is 25. And that's the ratio of the areas. Question? I need to leave it at 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the. I got to do something like that to get to the other. Okay, so that's not too complicated. You can see what you've got to do is carefully compare the lengths you've got. Be careful. These introductory questions are trying to ease you in, but sometimes you get multiple different lengths. So, look at this pair of triangles, right? Suppose I gave you another length. Uh, what does that look like? I don't know. Four meters, something like that. Okay. If I were trying to get these ratios of lengths. I would not be able to write 1 point, sorry, 1 1.5 to 4. Why not? Yeah, Danielle. Because they're not of the same side or... Yeah, that's right. So they're not in the same position. Do you notice that? We have a special name for this. It starts with C when, shape, when sides are like this. Congruency. Okay, congruency is when two shapes are, are exactly the same, but these are not exactly the same either. They're similar, right? The word I'm looking for is, and in fact, you can put it in for the word lengths. The word I'm looking for is corresponding. Sometimes you might have seen the word matching. I think corresponding is a slightly better word to use, but it's the same idea. It's not just any lengths. They've got to be the ones that match up together, that correspond to each other. So I'm okay if you just write ratios of lengths, 
but it's an abbreviation of ratios of corresponding lengths. Just like when we say height, we mean perpendicular height, but we always mean that, so we, we leave off the word perpendicular because we mean it all the time, and it's long and we're lazy to write it. Okay, corresponding is the same, but you have to pick the sides carefully. It's not just any sides, it's the ones that correspond to each other. Do you agree? Does that make sense? 